like to call the meeting to order for Tuesday, September 6, 2022. Uh, please stand for the pledge. Burks for openness in prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to freely come together tonight to discuss the business of our city. We ask that you help us to always consider what is in the best interest of our citizens. Be with all persons here tonight and with each of our employees as they perform their daily job duties. In Christ's name and in God we trust. Amen. Amen. Uh, next time on agenda is a roll call. Please show all present tonight, but Mary Claire Hopper and Megan Gilbert, we have a quorum and can conduct business. Next item on the agenda will be approval of minutes. I entertain a motion to approve the minutes from August 1st, 2022. Motion from James Baltimore is our second. Second from Edward. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda, unfinished business. I think we have uh, Mr. Elijah Taylor and some other members of our organization that want to speak to us. Elijah? First, I want to thank the mayor and the aldermen for allowing us this moment to be able to come before you guys to share with you our goals and our gain, our, our goals and our plans for our future. I also help me tonight, uh, Pastor Chris, and also Pastor Matthews, two of the members of the group that with us. <clears throat> the I Am group was founded with with hope and faith of men working together for a better future, and the role that we play of the people whose lives we cross. In Exodus 3, 13 and fourteen, he says, "What is it?" Moses said unto God, "Behold." I come unto you, the children of Israel, what shall I say to them? And, and the God of your father have sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, what is thy name? And what shall I say unto them? And God said to Moses, I am that I am. And he said, that is what thou shalt tell the children of Israel. I am who has sent me unto you. <clears throat> every day is a journey to a destination and every opportunity. And we must make a difference in our future. Never regret the day of life, because one good day is giving happiness. A bad day gives experience. Your worst day gives you a lesson. Your best day is a memory. Remember three things that you can't recover in life. A word after it's said, a moment after it's missed, a time after it's gone. The I Am Group is like a sign on the side of the road telling travelers, being there listening, being a friend, and being a helping hand. Our children will quickly smile and talk to a stranger before they even talk to their parents. We as the I Am Group have decided to focus on our children because our future in encouraging them is a great need. They are being pulled in so many different directions in these days and in these times. We are working to know that we are better, we're going to be better in making a difference in our future by being there for our children. In what ways will we be able to help our children? In what ways will we work? If a child needs someone to talk to, I am there. If a child is hungry and needs something to eat, I am there. If a child needs shoes or the shirt on their back, I am there. If a child needs someone just to stand in between of the line, I am there. This is the group that we're working with and working for. We'll be there with a smile and a helping hand, trying to make a difference and a better future for our children. Each day a child is crying out, wanting someone to just to talk to about the problems they're facing on a daily basis. <clears throat> so a question is being asked, which role will you play to make a difference in our future. As our children cry out for help, which hand will you give? The one to pick them up or the one to put them down? Which face will you wear? The one that will open up their day or the one to close their day down? 
The joy of being in the I Am group would open up doors that would never be closed in a child's life. What can I do as an individual? Wear a big smile, even on your, best, on your worst day, because someone is always watching. Give a listening ear. Somebody needs someone to talk to. Never turn a needy person away, for tomorrow it might be just you. We as the I Am group is reaching out in every direction trying to reach these children. You know and I know as our, as our town and as our society is struggling, our children are struggling the most. Looking, leaning, and wishing for just someone to talk to. We can't move tomorrow, but we can help our children face tomorrow by being there for them. Can we build them a house? No, but we can try to help them get a place to lay down at night. Can we make them a meal every day? No, but we can help them get a meal. We are standing in between the gaps for our children. As they cry out day, day in and day out, if you walk through our school system, you see our children are crying. They're reaching, pleading for someone just to take a moment for a helping hand. For the IM group is targeting the children because we realize that that's the area that is needed most now because they are our future. What can I do? What can you do? A donation will always be appreciated. Allowing us to call you in case we need some doors that need to be opened that you can't open for us. We're reaching out, guiding, and reaching for kids that are looking for someone to lean on. The IM group is just starting. There's a few good men we're hoping to expand. But right now we're using what we got to make a difference for our future. We're going into our school systems. We're reaching out to our children. We're trying to make a difference for our future. For Mara, Artemis, Milady, mm -hmm. we appreciate the moment that you're giving us. But we want you to realize that we are making a difference for our future. We're reaching, we're pulling, and we need your support. We appreciate that you are giving us this moment. We appreciate you giving us this time just to be able to let you know that somebody is listening and somebody wants to make a difference for our future. And our future is and will be our children. And if you can't feel the pain as we do, you ain't looking hard enough. Because on every street corner, every elementary school, every middle school, every high school, there is a child that's looking for someone to talk to. You ain't got to buy them a house, sometimes just a friendly face, a warm hand, and a big smile will cover a whole lot of miles for a lot of children. So from the, from the I Am group, we thank you, Mayor. We thank your Ottomans for giving us this moment. We do have a cash out. We are online. We appreciate you. We hope that you can help us make a difference in our future. Thank you for the time. You know, you guys have questions, either for me or you know, one of my, my co-workers or co-members. Yes, sir. One more time. The board, remember I, okay, remember I asked you, just in case, a donation is always appreciated. But for an example, we have a kid that is struggling. Let's say you need a a room or a house or someone to, to put them up for the night. And I have your number. I can say, well, Brother Baltimore, I have this child. Who can I call to help this child out? Because see, a child will talk to a stranger with a smile before they go and talk to their parents. And if a child come to me, I need to be able to get them an answer. Because that's, that's what we want to be standing in between the gaps. Volunteers? Look, when you look, people. Speakers? Helpers, helpers donations. We're, we're always looking for some helpers. We're always looking to grow. But the main objective is for our children. You know, because for my hours, you know, I have to keep my lights on. These gentlemen have to keep their lights on. But if you guys have some free moments and free times, to feel right on up in there. Meeting nights? Meeting nights, yes, sir. Our next meeting night is the 12th of September. We're at, I'm sorry. One more time. Future City Recreation. We're going to meet at Future City. 
And we, we, we meet in different areas throughout the week or the month. Are you based out of anywhere? Are you based out of anywhere? We, we, we meet based out of churches and, and group homes or whatever, and activity centers. Okay. Sir? Okay. 6.30. 6.30. He's my good secretary. <laughs> Uh, you know the questions you want to answer that would be yeah. yeah you want yeah. to Also have activities at the, at the centers. Uh, we was planning on well, we plan on having an activity at Future City uh, for the kids in the community or whoever or, or, or all the kids that have come out. So we're all trying to get the kids to come out and be a part of so they'll recognize who we are. <clears throat> Mr. Macklin also came with us tonight. So we, we're full of preachers and deacons and all those good things. <laughs> Somebody else had a question? Do you, uh, are you trying to reach uh, people in the community to make donations and, uh, or do just people that wish work with you? Or, I mean, specifically. Right? The reason why we're asking for donations in case there is a child that needs some shoes. You mean sponsors? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what that's what Yes, sir. We, could we please have some sponsors? Elijah came to our uh, community changer event sponsored by the police department at the uh, Dysburg Activity Center. Uh, that was the last one we had, I think. Um, obviously, the police department's uh, reaching out to communities. We had one at Community Center. The one before that was at Future City. The one before that was at, um, oh, where was the next one? The other one? Bruce. Bruce, that's right. Bruce, that was the first one we did. But uh, Elijah came and talked to some of us there and brought the flyer and discussed the program. And I think you have the blessings of the school system and all those folks to come into the schools and, and help the kids. Obviously, that's our main concern. And uh, just like you said, that's, that's where it starts. And we need uh, help with folks. And a lot of people are hurting. We know that. We appreciate what you do. And I'm pretty sure this board will do what we can to support you and help you and pray for you and encourage you and be a part of that ministry. Thank you, sir. Certainly will. In, any other questions? Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Elijah. We appreciate it very much. Uh, next item on the agenda is new business. Attorney invoice for June 2022 is attached and July 2022 is attached. Um, I'd, I'd entertain a motion to approve those two attorney invoices. Motion. Motion from Ricky Hammond, second. James Baltimore. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda, bids. Greg Williams, several bids tonight to talk about. <clears throat> Let me say that uh, there's a total of 15 bids. 
the first bid, second bid, third bid, fourth bid, eighth bid, and the 15th bid will require uh, action from this board. The other ones will not because it was included in the budget. So the first one's a street department, and the reason we're doing that is because it exceeded the budgeted amount uh, that was included in the budget that we passed back on June 29th. So the first department street, uh, street department dump truck budgeted 70,000 actually came in 85,805. Uh, the notification of the Tennessee state contract bid was from Ford to Murfreesboro 85,805 for the dump truck. Uh, it will require board approval since the bid exceeds the budgeted amount that will come from ARPA money. Uh, in order to uh, make up the difference there. So I'd entertain a motion to approve item number one. So move. Motion from Dennis Moody. Is there a second? I'll second. Second from Vanetta. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. The next item is <clears throat> for meter readers, half ton standard cab, two wheel drive pickup truck uh, to replace the older truck. This will need board action. Notification was given to the State Gazette. We received three bids two no responses, and then Tim Cass Law Ford, $33,150. Budgeted amount was $30,000. Uh, the excess will come from the internal service fund, which includes utility collections, utility billing, meter reading, and computer operations will make up the difference of, of $3,150. I'd entertain a motion to approve this truck for the meter readers. Motion from Coach Coles, there a second? Second. Second from Dennis Moody. Any discussion? Marty. Yes, sir. I know we're replacing six pickup trucks tonight, and all of them with just one bid. Uh, these is the only way we're notifying through the state gazette. I mean, the other two no responses on all these, so they notified individually, or is it just strictly through the gazette? Do you know? I don't know. I'm I'm assuming they're aware of it because people call Greg all the time about that. Uh, three of these trucks were uh, have to take action because it exceeded the, the budgeted amount. Three of them, we don't have to. The reason for uh, that some of these departments got budgeted items or budgeted numbers early on in the uh, budgeting process, and the other three got them late. It was a little more accurate figure late in the process. That's the reason for the difference in in these that we're talking about, but uh, I, I'm assuming that they're all aware of that. I will. All the prices have done through the state contract. I, well, I just, I like to see more than one bid on, on these. I, I mean, it's just to be sure they're in line. But, I mean, I, I'll vote for it, but I'm just curious about I, it. I'm pretty sure they're aware of it, okay. but we'll find out. Okay. okay. Have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Item number three is for the fire department, half ton crew, cab, two wheel drive pickup truck to replace an older truck. Budgeted amount was $35,000. Again, uh, Delta Auto, Kirk Nissan, no response. Tim Castellaw Ford uh, submitted a bid of $39,200. Uh, the budget amount was $35,000. Um, that will come from other accounts in the fire department, either inspections or prevention to make up the difference uh, in that department. So I'd entertain a motion to approve this bid for the fire department. Motion. A motion from Ricky Hammonds, our second? Second. Second from Coast Coast. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Next item number four will require board approval as well for the fire department, half ton crew cab, <clears throat> four wheel drive pickup truck to replace an older truck budget amount was $40,000. Notification State Gazette, uh, Delta Auto, no response. Kirk Nissan, no response. Tim Cass, Law Ford, $42,800. Uh, recommendations to uh, award the bid to Tim Cass, Law Ford in the amount of $42,800. And again, the difference of $2,800 will come from the fire department, either an inspection line item or prevention line item. I'd entertain a motion to approve that. Motion from James Baltimore, second. Second from Coach Cole. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item number five, uh, we do not have to take action. It was under the budgeted amount for the recreation department. Item number six, street department, we do not have to take action. 
<clears throat> because it was accrued, approved in the budget for the street department. Number seven, silo waste department also came in under budget. Number eight, uh, cemeteries, herbicide treatment of four cemeteries, purpose to control weeds and minimize mowing, a budgeted item. The budget amount was left off in error, but it was $20,000 that was budgeted. Again, notification, State Gazette. <clears throat> Herba systems, no response. Tin law, no response. Nature Chem was rejected, did not have the required license to spray. And then we got a bid from professional lawn care for $25,410 and from Cole's custom applications, $24,402. Another recommendation is to award it to Cole's custom applications of Newburn, Tennessee for $24,402. I'd entertain a motion to approve that. So move. Motion from Dennis, second. Second. Second from Ricky Hammond. Any discussion? I believe in Cole's one that's been doing it for several years. They have, yes, sir. And then the difference in this bid will be made up from numbers 9 and 10 when we get to the fencing uh, for the new part of the cemetery on Harrell Avenue. It came in significantly less than what was budgeted. In, any questions? Any other questions? Yes, sir. It's herbicide treatment. Uh, Mr. Moody, do you recall uh, several months ago I said something about spraying weeds? Mm -hmm. And you said that we couldn't do it because of, of the runoff of the treatment for poison the soil. We were talking about the ditches. Same difference. No, it? it's not. I'm not just talking. We're talking about in the ditches. Now, the state says you cannot do that. Yes, Moody. I didn't say yes, it. Yes, Moody. I appreciate it, but I'm not your son, okay? You said no, son. Do what? You said no, son. No, I said no, sir. I said okay. no, sir. I apologize. It came out. It came out like. But no, the state okay. has got regulations, and they will not let you spray ditches anymore with well, herbicides. Why wouldn't they not regulate this too? Well, from what they say, that you've got grass and stuff that this goes through before it gets to the ditch, and it sort of filters it. Now that's. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's what they're. That's what I'm saying. It didn't yeah. make. It doesn't make sense. To right, me. but I know we've gone through this before, and that's what they say that you know it sort of filters it if it goes through all that, but if you do it in the ditch, it goes straight through. A lot of grass in the ditches. It's not like it used to be. We can't use DDT and okay. stuff, you know. All right. I just, I just want to make sure I, I know that it. we're on the same page. Right. All right. Thank you. Uh, any other discussion or questions? Okay. Have a motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Uh, item number nine, department cemeteries, privacy fence around the shop in the rear of the office. Uh, to replace the old fence, budget amount was 12500 came in at 10485 under budget. It was approved in our budget. Don't have to take action. <clears throat> Number 10, cemeteries, department, uh, chain link fence, three gates, automatic opener at the uh, Fairview Cemetery expansion on Harrell Avenue. Budget amount was 60000 came in at 55360 uh, No action needed. It came in under budget and was approved in the budget process on June 29, 2022. Solid Waste Department, again, was approved in the uh, budget approval of June 29th uh, for the um, rollout garbage cans. $397,956 was underneath the budget amount of $405,000. Number 12, <clears throat> Fire Department turnout coats and pants under the budgeted amount of $14,000 came in at $12,705. Department number, uh, item number 13, Department Water Sewer Hydraulic jackhammer for mini excavator budget amount was fifteen thousand. Came in under that amount twelve thousand three forty nine seventy five. Department uh, recreation fourteenth item nine pairs of various size uh, soccer goals uh, to equip the new soccer complex budget amount came in under that amount uh, from BSN uh, Sports does not need uh, any action by this board. And then item number fifteen the street department. <coughs> Uh, to replace a rotten bridge. This was an emergency repair that occurred last week. We were notified of it uh, about a week and a half ago. Had a bridge on Stephen Street, which is off of Tucker Avenue over here, that uh, the underneath that uh, underneath part of that bridge was um, decaying and in bad shape. And we closed it off and got forward construction to do an emergency repair. You see that amount of $34,085 to repair that bridge on uh, Stephen Street. I need a motion to approve this. I have a motion from Vanetta, second from Coach Cole. Any discussion? Well, we 
going to take the money to pay this? It, it comes from the State Department for maintenance. Okay, any other questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Next time on the agenda, report from Alderman, Mr. Baltimore. Scott. Scott yes, sir. They were um, they were calling and calling about Scott. Oh, we're going to Scott Street. Mm -hmm. Is that anyway? I think we we talked about this before. Is that anyway we can do something? We are. It's on the list to be paved. It's the first or second street. We got the bids from Ford last week for paving. Is that right? A couple weeks ago. Couple weeks ago. Explain to them the reason that we hadn't got them. Uh, off, they're not putting them in the backyard right now because you're still working your way through it. So. Now, what do you mean not putting them in the backyard? Uh, or putting, moving them off the street. When they, you know, most a lot of people are leaving, sitting in the front yard or on the street or out in the street. At right. This point, and people are complaining about that. Right. So this is the fifth week of the automated rollout um, garbage collection service, week number five. Uh, it's gone fairly well. I've talked to a lot of folks. We uh, put a lot of information on our social media platforms about it. Uh, we would like for folks to uh, put the cans back in their front yard side of the house or the back of the house after their pickup day. That's We would like for folks to do that. Sometimes they don't. But, again, we just ask folks to be patient with us. It's a learning process. It's a big change for our community, as we've talked about it for um, a long time in doing this. But... Uh, Certainly easier for our men to do that. It's, um, we don't have to worry about getting bit by dogs. We we'll don't have to worry about grabbing uh, trash bags out of the container and getting stuck by needles. We don't have to worry about worker comps claims from back injuries and stuff like that. But uh, I think overall it's gone really well. Uh, folks are really excited about uh, the new garbage collection that uh, we're doing. We communicated uh, the previous four or five days about the holiday yesterday that garbage service will be delayed by one day. I think that went fairly well. Uh, but again, it's a learning process. We ask folks to put their garbage in bags still because as we pick it up with the automated arm, if it's not in a bag and it's a windy day, we dump it, it's going to blow stuff everywhere and make it worse in the neighborhood or on the streets. So we ask people to do that. We ask them to have them out the night before or early the morning of uh, their pickup day. It's still City of Dyersburg employees doing that. We haven't farmed it out. We hadn't. Uh, giving that to another company, whether it's still our folks in charge of it. Uh, you hear some talk about satellite trucks. We've got two size trucks. A satellite truck is a smaller truck that allows for us to get in cul-de-sacs and narrow streets. And the cul-de-sac's arm can't function as well as it does on straightaways. So we've uh, sent the satellite truck out ahead of uh, the, the automated truck on those days when we have those uh, situations or narrow streets. And some people get concerned, think we miss them. Uh, but the other truck's right behind them, and, and they will pick that up. But, again, we ask people to call uh, Dysburg City Hall or uh, 311 and report that, and we'll do all that we can to, to help people. Well, thank you for the explanation. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you asking about it. Edward? Well, I noticed on the garbage, too. I know some people have been stacking bags on top of the lid and, you know, things like that and, and have another can out there. How, how are you handling that? So we're picking them up. Uh, we have ordered 500 additional cans. We've had some people that have come to City Hall and request additional cans. So you know the drill with the first time. They got it wrong as far as the, the imprint and everything. We sent all those cans back, and we got them out. So we ordered another truckload of cans about that same time. 562 or something like that makes up a truckload. Uh, but we are picking everything up. Uh, so if people stack it on top, it, normally we're going to get it, and sometimes you'll see some folks in a truck going around a pickup truck picking stuff up. But we're working hard, and those guys are working really hard to serve everybody. And, again, it's a learning process. Some people, you see multiple cans set out there. We try to get all of those. What we have found, some of the cans that are bigger than what we've set out, 
the arms are calibrated with um, belts on there. So if we try to pick up a bigger can, it's breaking the belts. So we run into that issue and had to some, replace some belts. But uh, those guys are on top of it and doing the very best they can. I communicate with Greg Wilson about two or three times a day and have done so for the past four weeks and including today as well. So, um, again, we just ask people to call us. We'll do what we can to help them, um, either 311 or City Hall or my office or whatever. So, okay. Anything else? Okay. Coach Cole? First of all, I'm glad to see I'm glad to see the trucks. We went to three weeks in my neighborhood and we didn't see one. A garbage truck? Well, the new, the new well, new new or old, we're gonna get it. Yeah. But y'all got it. Right? That's right. You got it. But uh this morning I have to say this. We evidently we didn't all get the message about the pushback day. Woke up this morning at six o'clock, every can <laughs> On the block was out. So we're following instructions. Uh, appreciate it. A uh, couple things I'd like to throw out here. First of all, thank you, Scott, for informing me about the uh, pavement. Thank you. People have been ringing my phone off, wanting me to know. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for that. Uh, who do we need to talk with about a ditch? Dennis, oh, Ms. Moody, who do I need to see about a ditch? I got, <laughs> well, well, well I'm, saying, I'm just explaining. Uh, I have a talk to several gentlemen on my street, on one of the streets where I live, about the uh, ditch that runs between Martin Luther King and the project. It's become overgrown with tree limbs. It's backing up and they're losing uh, land. They would like to know who's responsible and what kind of, what action needs to be taken to make sure that it's cleaned out and water will flow through it. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is determine ownership of the ditch. If the city's got an easement or a right of way or if we own it, and once we do that, we can determine who needs to take care of it. We'll be more than happy to do that. Okay. Um, I'll, it'd be all right if I give you the name and number? Sure. Okay, I'll get that to you. And I wish someone would take a look at Grant Street, uh, Gentry Street, on the east side of town. There is a ditch there that was cut for a drainage when they had the levee. I sent you a picture once, Mr. Mayor, and they cut the bank of it, but again, we have trees growing in the ditch. We have trees growing up by the telephone pole, the utility pole, and the culvert that runs from runs uh, the, uh, Lincoln and, and Grant Street. It's got bushes and stuff going up in it. Now, is, is that, again, will you have to determine who uh, has the right of way? Yes, sir, we do. Uh, I'm just looking at my text message. You sent me some stuff about Central, Hobart, and Horton Row. Uh, hopefully we took care of all that. I'm not aware of Grant, Gentry, yeah, and did, Lincoln. But was, I don't, you may not have gotten it. I'll send it to someone else. Okay. This yep. is my big question. Yeah, we'll look at it. Okay. Yep, sure will. Scott, is that close to our levee down there? Yeah, close. Yeah. Grant, Gentry. I'll look at it more. It's, it's by where the, where the police department had their firing range. Mm -hmm. It's in that area. And who's responsible for cutting around stop signs, fire plugs? It's in our right of way and our stuff into us. Well. That's a big. That's a big question mark. I've seen where land has been cut, property has been cut, but yet there's bushes and things going up around stop signs and fire plugs. I may know that. Talk to Chad about it. Okay, appreciate it. Or if you give us locations, we'll take okay. we'll take care of it. All right. Anything else, <coughs> Ricky? Uh, yeah, Mary. Uh, the, the folks here for I am appreciate y'all. Uh, anybody that's uh, Working with the troubled youth in this town, and, and I, I, I hesitate to use the word trouble. Any youth, you've got my support, and I'm sure I can speak for this whole board. Elijah, you know where I am if you need me. Uh, just, you know, I'm, I'm right across the street from you. Uh, 
the potholes was mentioned a while ago. I talked to Chad today. Our machine, I call it the pothole machine we budgeted. I think he told me every, all the parts were in. They're waiting on a guy to come in and train them on that. So uh, that should soon, we should see some progress on these potholes. Uh, the soccer complex, have we took that over yet? No. I get a lot of good comments about that. It looks real good out there. I'll be glad and we'll be. We're we'll working on punch list item. We ought to have them knocked out shortly. A few of the irrigation and some flower beds and stuff. But uh, soccer goals have been ordered. It's all that tonight. Uh, we've got a company coming in next week to talk to us about uh, top dressing and uh, line painting and stuff like that. So hopefully very soon it'll, it'll actually look like a soccer field instead of a grass field. So I think uh, delivery date on the goals are October. <coughs> Oh, that's okay. I, that's, that's a good question. Not at this time, no. What will we have to do to try to get them to put some like a subject race out there tonight? I'd just have to budget it as a board. It's an expensive item. We priced it when we this did. board can budget that. Next year, yes, sir. The budget process. We priced it this year or when we done the project. $300,000. For one field. We have nine. I'm sorry, I just, I just needed to ask. Sure, that. yeah, absolutely. That's what, is youth football, I think we talked one time about maybe playing some youth football out there. Is that still on the table? Maybe? If needed? Yeah. We, we, one of the fields uh, on the North Complex is actually a multi-purpose field. Uh, so you can play youth football on the soccer. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. That's it. Okay. Dennis? Mayor, I see the state is finally going to do something to uh, I-155 as far as paving. Have you talked to anybody in the state that knows anything about the bypass or any of the state routes that run through town? I've, talk I've talked with uh, our state representative, Rusty Grills, two weeks ago. We're actually going to Nashville September 21st to have some discussions about that. Highway 51, the state route that runs through where it's Sampson, Gordon, and Wheeler meet. Mm -hmm. Everybody complains about that. That's very rough. And if you don't mind, say something to them about that or have them run across it one time. I will. All right. Thank you. That's all. All right. Thank you. Bonetta? Um, I'd like to just uh, express my appreciation to two groups of folks over one particular problem in one of our communities. Uh, first of all, I'd like to, to say thanks to Chief Isbell and his department in hearing uh, residents out and, 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 and when they came to him and they came to city officials and said we have a problem in our neighborhood, I appreciate uh, the department listening and then exploring and researching and investigating and, um, and taking the action that was appropriate that led to arrest and ultimately led to removing somebody from the neighborhood, from the community that needed to go. Um, but also want to say thanks to those folks in the community. I know sometimes it, it takes a lot to say something. People are scared they're gonna get a negative response. They may be scared of repercussions, but these folks came forward and, and spoke uh, what was on their heart and mind and their concern for their, their neighborhood. And so we want to encourage people to do that uh, because uh, until we know there's a problem, till the department knows there's a problem, they can't do anything about it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Elijah, thank you uh, for coming. Bobby, Victor, Chris, Connie, thank you very much for coming and what you're doing to reach the young people in our community. I want to remind everybody, like Mr. Baltimore said about the fair, 75th anniversary of the fair, goes through Saturday night, get out and have a good time, uh, experience that with your family. With that, we're adjourned. Thank you.